plastic house guest. <laughs> I'm tired of running away from the doll mafia. Last winter I helped one of them up the stairs of the subway because she was so small I didn't want her to get crushed and she hurt her back. I tried to show her how to stretch it out and her head popped off. Her body <laughs> turned red. I picked her head up from a bench and tried to put it back on. It wouldn't snap into place. She told me I'd have to take her home with me and feed her spaghetti puttanesca or else. <laughs> this was last winter. It's now summer and I'm trying to ditch her, but her head has never stayed on right and now she needs my services because she claims she's pregnant with the doll Don's baby. I didn't know dolls can get pregnant or get a manicure, but that's her thing since one of her arms was replaced. She was swimming at the Jersey Shore. Its hinge became disengaged and she watched her small plastic arm swim with the fishes. She claims it got lost in a grotto. I found such an arm on Key West in the 90s. I was walking along the beach and I saw what I thought was a severed penis. The plastic armhole was pointed toward me and the lip of the armhole looked like, well, looked very strange. As I got closer, I realized it was a doll arm covered in barnacles and sand. I carefully picked it up and wrapped it in a napkin. <laughs> when I got home from my vacation, I framed it in a shadow box frame and hung it on my bedroom wall. It was one of the first things that the mafia doll noticed when she entered my apartment. She burst into tears and began screaming when she saw it, screeching like a strange bird. I thought she was crying because I was out of spaghetti and told her I'd have to go to the bodega and get it. The detached doll arm was coincidental. It wasn't her arm, but she wanted to try it on. Anyway, I protested knowing the delicate barnacles would fall off. Her disembodied head tried to bite my ear, so I complied, taking the sea-weathered arm out of the frame. It was then she lost her taste for it and renewed her request for spaghetti, her favorite winter food. Dolls don't eat with their mouths. They eat with their eyes. Since her head popped off, it's more difficult for her to do this, not as much leverage. She's taken to dipping her feet in the al dente spaghetti. If it's not al dente, she kicks up her feet and spaghetti flings into the hole where her head was. She gets all messy and full of red. Then I have to bathe her. I have to do this right away or she gets threatening. When I bathe her, she takes a bit of water in through a hole in her new arm and later pees on my leg. She thinks I like it. It gives me a winter chill that makes me so tired I fall asleep. She pukes on me and I wake up. Then she gives me her trademark doll stare. Says she's seen me before in the Melody Bar on Performance Art Night. Tells me my friend hid her in a belly full of spaghetti. Gave birth on a garbage bag. Many people watching, including me. The memory makes me tired and I again nod out. When I wake up, the doll has sent herself by FedEx to the prop shop. I know this because she's left the tracking number and her spaghetti boxes splatter the living room. I tear up the tracking number and burn it over the stove, hoping she'll get lost in transit. She never does, though. She'll steal some kid's toy car and find her way back. <laughs> she likes to throw parties at the prop shop, a large garage downtown where they rent out stuff for TV shows, movies, and photo shoots. Most of their furniture is modern, mid-century, which is her favorite. She thinks clear plastic and chrome have class. She'll call up her doll mafia friends, invite them up for some doll mischief. Sometimes she asks me to cook them spaghetti, some spaghetti puttanesca. I feel very tired when she asks and usually fall asleep, so they end up ordering pizza from the joint down the street and then scaring the delivery guy silly by placing a mannequin in the prop shop window and playing records from an old cop radio show on the phonograph. The delivery guy will usually hightail it out of there and leave the pizza behind. They never eat it though, but it's all part of the doll fun. Mm. Lately, I've been waking up from my naps feeling funny. For example, the last time my foot was much closer to my body than I remember. <laughs> when I look in the mirror, I'm three inches shorter and a bit smaller in diameter. Same body mass, though. Then my eyes feel hungry. I close them and shake my head a bunch of times and the sensation goes away. I search in the pantry for some leftover spaghetti and find the inside blue bo box infested with larvae. My landlord says they're pasta bugs and not to buy spaghetti or any kind of pasta for the next six months or ever again. He doesn't want that kind of activity in his building. 
When the doll comes back hungry from her night of naughtiness, I show her the feasting bugs. Tell her the landlord says I can't have spaghetti in here anymore or he'll call the cops. Her eyes roll. She clicks her head back to, into place, gives me her doll stare as she patters towards the door. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Tan in a can. You say you're pale. You can't wear the jacket in your closet in the world of a medievalist. Not many people think what it's like to be a bat. There are two sides to every organism. You say you're visiting. You've spent most of your life upside down. You're stuck with the experience of being a volunteer. You put your jacket over your face. Nothing is sadder than seeing a tan in a can addict waiting for the bus when it starts to sleet out of nowhere. Stay away from lotions that make you tingle. Your obsession with canning can be damaging in a different way. There's no doubt repeating any action often based on the conservation of old world fruit and nectar attracts bad reflective action. First of all, many people would like to see what you're doing despite your ecological value. Your arms are spindly with stretched membranes. Overexposure to sunlight can be cut back 15 grams. For the major league, the minor league, it's the same as cigarettes baking in the sun in Mesa, Arizona made you addicted to that golden glow. It's not like when you were a young girl in Jersey, slathered in baby oil and jacketed in tin foil, avoiding enormous numbers of insects, the dark side of bronzed skin. You can blame Coco Chanel, who finished off her jackets with mesh-absorbing action. She went to a party on the Riviera with a confit can hidden under her fur, fur all cookie-cutter steamy, and was promptly spotted, juicing her jelly jar like a fellatiating fruit bat. <laughs> to explain anything, but at this point you could probably realize that I'm into repetition. <laughs> so I like to try and use repetition um, in a rhythmic way. Um, waffle of massive deliciousness. Because I feel like when you're at a poetry reading, like I can just stand at home and read these to myself in the mirror, but I feel like this is a conversation between the two of us. Even if no one's talking back yet, I'm having a conversation with you. Okay? <laughs> Waffle of massive deliciousness. Slither home, cold trucker. Your rig smells minty fresh. Your royal cowboy gleam. You look good. You have a good look about you. You safe. You got your ass working. Sacrifice the right to go on us. Expressway rides with good riders. Cracked pumpkin etiquette. Spiked Coney Island. So many men needs you. Dex, marshes, high crimes. Asia is strange, serious, and strained. Carlock, hemlock. Charred pigeons cannot be bold. That can't be right. Hold religions in concrete bowls. What region are you from? The domino advance. Hookers and bookers. It's okay in Cali, a cache enclave. Rusting park in the sky. Accidental skank district. Ordinary triple X rehashed. Herbal spiked aqueduct maneuver. Chrysalis wrestler. Repetitious clients brandish bionic models, stunt drugs, and smile hazards. They smiled. They smiled endlessly. They smiled endlessly and steadily. God, did they smile. <laughs> um, I'm just kind of like, I do, I'm not really. <laughs> I love your brain power smile. Talk about smiling. Little smile dog, we're all young, but you can read about it and begin to love it a little bit at a time. Thank you for this brightener. I love you and I hope you're okay. Haven't heard from you in a week and that's just weird, but I can hear you laughing, choking and coughing a smile for your face. These are all things from the internet. <laughs> I'm fighting to recall a sense of an uncertain smile using only a small portion of my mental capacity. Love the CD. I've been listening to this for almost a month and it's like you're back to your normal self with your trademark smile. I have a tickle in my brain and it keeps making the corners of my mouth point towards the heavens. Think more and your brain will get the message. I put a badge in your brain for the quantum mind power gym to set up your own generator in a mentally fit river. 
Mind wide open marketing. Why should I love your sweet dance? Once again, another nugget for your enigmatic brain food. Brain teasers, riddlers, warm ups, damage gallstones plus brain assurance before your hands do it to teach the next generation a smile is an inexpensive way to change your looks. <laughs> So I'm just going to um, do a couple more. This seems like a crowd that likes to be entertained. <laughs> so, you know, I've left the depressing stuff for my reading in the bathroom. Um, I'm just going to read two more. Um, I learned, I, my friend Eric um, Bees, he's on the Home show, Shopping Network. I was actually at the gym the other day and I saw him running. Uh, I, I saw him while I was running around the gym. Um, he taught himself how to kiss with a Coke bottle and a, a, <laughs> and a tablespoon. <laughs> but now you can teach yourself to kiss from the internet. <laughs> Kissing is good for you. There's really no right or wrong way to kiss, even if noses clash. People prefer different ways of snogging. Never leave your tongue still or doing nothing. Make sure you're constantly using it and showing feelings and passions or you'll be a dead fish. Kissing helps prevent tooth decay. When your mouth is in a smooch position, mouth open, not too wide, like when